Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Taking it about the one. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's complete out left to IU. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Still leaves him with fourth and short. Any chance you go for it? It's definitely in the back of my mind. In fact, I've discussed it with my staff all week long, different situations that I may want to go for. it. Where is the ball in the field? Do I have confidence in my trigger guy? What am I going to do? I'm also talking about my analytics department. What are the odds? If I don't get it, what's it going to do to me the rest of the game? Personally, I end up taking all that putting it in my head and making a decision. And you know me, I'm probably going to go for it. Wow, well, Trey, you want to make an opening drive statement. Yes, I do. Once I have the ball and I've got it on the move, I don't want to just give up that easily. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They set a load of big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Trying for IU, but it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Third and long that time. He was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long. Got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. So after the INT, it's Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air, Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. 
Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Here's Allen to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And now another one thrown incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Purdy off the play fake. Gets this one to use check. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. From the 38, Purdy. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Third down, here's McCaffrey. Stiff armed him. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, Purdy. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. Throwing here, Purdy, out to his left. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. It's Shaq Lawson who worked his way in there to get him down. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. Throwing on second and long. Purdy sliding out of the pocket. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown 49ers. Brandon Ayu from 17 yards out. And the Niners have taken the lead. Gold with the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Yeah, he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. 
Most of them wanted Ed with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. First down, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. On second and 11 now, Allen, Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards, and now that sets up third and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. They run it again with Cook. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And yeah, they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. To throw, it's Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. On second down, Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are once again back in front. Well, we have seen the stiff arm get a bit of renaissance here in recent seasons, and that was pure strength there as he forced his way into the end zone. And when you think of guys who use the stiff arm so effectively, I go back to guys like Earl Campbell, Walter Payton, some recent guys like Marshawn Lynch. Let's go to the way back machine. Bronco Nagurski, he dealt out a wicked stiff arm. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. Murdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And yeah, they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Play action, now Purdy. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Got his target, Samuel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action here, Purdy. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Pardon me, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. Here's Allen on first and ten. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. The final shot before break. Purdy, sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. But gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They're already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Steps away. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Allen hit. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to eight. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. McKenzie will not return this and will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. 
had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if Bobby kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Allen going to go on fourth down. Completes it to Davis. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 34. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To throw on second and 10. Allen, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Throwing is Allen on third. That's going to be caught. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie, 34 yards. And the Bills have cut the lead back down to two. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Allen will try to throw for it to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And a little element there of chasing points, because that's the second time they've had a failed two-point conversion. Now they're down two. Yeah, you don't kick it the first time, and now you feel like you're in a position where you have to go for two in this spot. The chasing points, hard to catch up. That's why a lot of coaches make it a hard, fast rule. Don't go for two unless you absolutely have to. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. And that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw, Purdy. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. Able to haul it in as kill. He's got room at the 30, and he'll be brought down at the 27. Yeah. 
From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. Give him two yards on that one, second and goal down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now here in Santa Clara. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, a five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Gold with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 46 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. To throw again on second down, Allen. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Play action, Allen. Right back to Davis, it's complete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Down the left sideline, and all the way home for a Bills touchdown. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter, and don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft and what they were lining up with on defense. Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. They'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. 
Brandon, you know how many times we've done games and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. He probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Purdy on fourth down. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. He'll get it inside the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting. 